Imagine that a battleship encounters two enemy craft out there in the water and fires shells at uh, both of them labeled A and B as shown in the picture. If the little dotted lines indicate the trajectory of the shells that are used to aim and hit the enemy boats, I'd like to ask if you can guess which of the two ships is hit first. Is it the case that A is hit first, or that B is hit first, or do they actually get both hit at the same time? One could try to do calculations here uh, and be uh, quite precise about this, but it's easy enough to start with a, a simple conceptual explanation. At the very top of the trajectory of this uh, particular uh, shell, at least in the vertical direction, the shell is not moving. It's of course true that it's moving horizontally. In other words, it has a x component of velocity or a horizontal component of velocity. But in the vertical direction, it's at rest. So thinking about this as only about the vertical direction of, uh, for a moment, it's as if we let go of this uh, shell and let it drop and it starts accelerating back down to the ground. And we know that in this case, the time it takes to fall from a certain height depends on the height as the square root. So it's the square root of 2 times the height over little g. That's the time it takes to fall. So I don't even have to know very much about the velocities at which these shells were launched to hit the two boats A and B. I just inspect here and say this one went to a higher altitude than the second shell, at least according to my cartoon. And since it went up for, to a further height, it took further for it to drop back down again. And twice that time is the amount that it took to do this entire trajectory from the very beginning, all the way up and back down. As a result, Battleship A will be hit a lot later than Battleship B, even though Battleship B is a lot further away from you. It has all to do with the altitude at which the shell is going to be launched. In the, in the language of football, this is like a punt where the hang time is a lot larger because the ball went a lot higher in the air. So the answer is that B is hit first.